right, now that that's done, let's see what she got to say. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. All right, let's see what she got to say. Aria will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Aria. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Aria or what we once had. All right. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. All right, let me talk to her. Let me ask her some What's questions. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect, and not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us, I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her, but I regret nothing. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. Alright. <clears throat> like her so far, I mean, she ain't try to win me over or anything like that, so. I appreciate it, Nyree. She seems cool. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. Alright. Let's go kick some ass. Alright, what did I just get? Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's cold. It's kicking my ass. <clears throat> Alright, do I want to change my stuff? Nope, I'm good. Change their stuff, though. Get them out of this default gear that they got. Alright. Fire rate is slow, but I might have a mod that can work with that. Increase stability now. Now they already have infinite ammo. Mm, piercing now. Extended barrel. Uh, Mm. Ignore 70 to 70 percent. That sounds good. Increases weapon weight though, but she's not a badass biotic like me. So what is this? Increased melee damage. Ah, what the hell for? You know we're shooting projectiles. <laughs> like a, you know I don't give a damn about melee damage. 
as long as the bullets hit the target, then <laughs> that seemed like a waste of a slot to me. Uh, increase stability, nah. It's the uh, Mr. Computer AI, so I'm not really worried about that. There we go. All right. Let's see what pistol can I give her. Mm, if I remember, one of these was a single shot explosive. Hmm. <coughs> All right, now uh, which one does more damage? All right, let me go with this one. Only because it sticks to things and um makes proximity mine, so uh, increases damage. Okay, let me go with that uh, the same thing. Here we go. Alright, let's see what I already got. I know I can give her a better shotgun than that. I want to have her, like, dropping people with this shit when I'm done. Uh, Alright, alright, looks like I'm going to go with the damage ones. And I should give her the yeah the same SMG that I got because that thing is a beast. Uh, she don't need lightweight. Increased damage. Stability. That's what I should put on mine. Cause mine it's like um I don't have it on mine. I just kind of work my way around it. You know, I, um, I work my way around the recoil. That way I can put this lightweight thing on there so my powers come back a whole lot quicker. Uh, do I really need my sniper rifle? Probably not, but I love having it. And I love the increased damage, so. Alright, six points. I uh, don't really use overload that much, so I'll put it on cryo. Increased damage, chill targets, weaken armor targets by an additional 25. Yep, that sounds like a good investment right there. Alright. Alright, time, time to drop some force fields. Get this shit done. That way I can work my way up to that top of the, you know, Omega and like, you know, put one in that guy's head for trying to kill me. And then I can get on with saving the galaxy. processing plants it's been powered down so we'll have to pry open the door all right i'll get it access to the mine should be on the far side and the reactor is beyond that according to the schematics i ran omega and irene i didn't work the mines myself no you had indentured servants for that spirits relax they're all cerberus They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. Alright, don't tell me it's some kind of creature I gotta fight. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I mean, he's just gonna get fucked up, but... Alright. Yeah. Big ass vats full of easel, I guess. Maybe I gotta fight those things she was talking about, the um the Reaper things, you know, the things that she was um that she didn't like fighting, that the guy lost control of. Maybe I gotta fight a bunch of them. I'll probably put them down like everything else. Unless they're like, you know, as strong as those um uh those um uh, Oh, what were they called in a regular game? The um the big screaming things that the Asari were, you know, the um that the um that the Reapers turned the Ardok Yakshis into. More dead. Those things. Hate fighting those. I forget what their actual name was, but I see you up there. What's that sound? Yeah, come on down here and get fucked up. An yeah, that's what they were. 
General must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Eh, don't matter. I'm looking around for um, you know, weapon pickups and things like that. That's why you see me just walking around, you know, and not sprinting, you know, just down the thing just to hurry this up. I mean, I don't mind taking my time in games. I'm not just trying to rush through it just to upload it on the YouTube so you guys can view this. It's deactivated. To power this place up, there should be a master server right somewhere. All right. All right. Anything over here? No. We should follow them. All right. Let's see what's up here. Okay. Nothing so far. I probably got to turn on the power, and and, and then uh, that's when those things will probably jump out, and I got to probably start shooting them and shit like that. <clears throat> uh, priority or alpha order. Okay, so they had orders to kill anything that tried to leave. Really? Okay, that's fucked up. She said follow the pipes. Alright. So I'm guessing it's up here somewhere. Wait, did I just... Oh, that's her. Okay. I about to say, like, what the fuck was that up there? <laughs> When I went up here before, she must have didn't drop down. Let's see, can I get up on here? Nope. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to drop down here, I guess. Okay, can't go that way. So, I'm supposed to get on this one. This way, Shepard. Okay, um, am I supposed Here. to walk on these pipes? Cause, okay, I see you, but not do I... I mean, how'd you how'd you get over there? You know, you know, help a brother out. There we go. There we go. Okay, I got it. It's like the jump animation didn't trigger at first. The whisper. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. Do I look like a squad of soldiers, really? Are you really comparing me to them? I mean, the only thing I probably can't take by myself is probably like a reaper. You know? Just like a big ass reaper. Everything else I got, so unless you, you know, you're sending a reaper after me, you know, this shit. It's gonna get fucked up when it you know decides to jump in front of my gun. There's the power control. Alright. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! Yeah, see that don't look that bad. Wake up. Yo, what's up? I heard, I heard you was big and bad. And they're not tough at all. Those things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. Arya does have a point. Ah, uh, anyway, those things are weak as hell. I thought they'd be as strong as the other, um, you know, the, uh, the transformed Autogachis, but I guess not. I mean, they're nowhere near them. Well, they just eat bullets. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's just like fighting a regular armored 